Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be discussing a fascinating and often controversial topic, corporate globalization. Are multinational companies taking over the world and shaping the way we live? In this video, we'll dive deep into this theory, explore its implications and discuss potential solutions. Let's dive in. The theory of corporate globalization or corporate hegemony suggests that multinational corporations or MNCs have gained immense power and influence over the world of economy, politics, and social systems. These corporations have become so large that they can dominate international trade, investment, and information flow. Key concerns in this theory include the undermining of national sovereignty, wealth inequality, and cultural homogenization. Critics argue that MNCs can influence government policies, manipulate media, and exploit cheap labor in developing countries, which can lead to negative social and environmental consequences. To better understand the theory of corporate globalization, we need to look at its historical context. The growth of MNCs can be traced back to the Industrial Revolution, when advancements in technology and transportation made international trade more accessible. Over time, companies have expanded their operations across borders to take advantage of new markets and resources. The detractors of corporate globalization point out that the concentration of power in the hands of a few corporations can lead to reduced competition, lower wages, and a focus on short-term profits at the expense of long-term sustainability. They also argue that MNCs may contribute to a loss of cultural diversity as their global presence promotes a uniform consumer culture. Another significant concern is the issue of wealth inequality. Critics argue that corporate globalization has contributed to a system where wealth is increasingly concentrated in the hands of a few while many struggle to make ends meet. Additionally, MNCs have been accused of using tax avoidance strategies and political lobbying to further their interests at the expense of the greater good. However, proponents of globalization argue that it can lead to increased economic growth, job creation, and an overall improvement in living standards. They believe that multinational corporations can foster innovation, increase global trade, and spread technology and expertise across borders. Supporters of corporate globalization also point out that it has led to an unprecedented level of global collaboration, resulting in a more interconnected world. Consumers now have access to a vast array of products and services from different countries, which can lead to improved quality of life and a greater cultural exchange. The debate around corporate globalization is complex, and it's essential to find a balance between the potential benefits and drawbacks, stricter regulations, international cooperation, and a focus on sustainable business practices can help ensure that MNCs contribute positively to the global community without causing undue harm. Additionally, the rise of ethical consumerism, corporate social responsibility, and grassroots movements can help empower individuals and communities to hold corporations accountable for their actions. By demanding greater transparency, supporting local businesses, and advocating for fair trade practices, we can encourage companies to adopt more sustainable and equitable practices. To better understand the impact of corporate globalization, let's look at some case studies. We can examine instances where multinational corporations have caused harm, such as environmental degradation or worker exploitation but also instances where MNCs have contributed positively to local economies, job creation, and technology transfer. Through these case studies, we can gain a more nuanced understanding of the role of multinational corporations in our global society and the potential ways they can be held accountable and contribute positively to the world. So are multinational companies taking over the world and shaping how we live? The answer is not straightforward, and it's up to us to continue this conversation and seek solutions that benefit everyone. Let us know your thoughts in the comment below. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, please subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Created using Powtoon.